Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video is 31 days of Halloween. Day 22, Purple Needle Felt Ghost. So I decided to go ahead and make a needle felt ghost since I've done several ghosts out of clay. I want to do one out of needle felt. And so I'm going to start off by building up his body out of the polyester fiber fill. Now, you may be asking yourself, why a purple ghost? And that's a good question. And I have, I guess, a good answer. So I decided to go with purple because one, I just did a white skull. So I didn't want to work with white again. And you can find that video down in the playlist for my 31 days of Halloween. And also because I have a lot of purple wool roving left over from another project some time, some time ago. I am not even recall at the moment what that was for. So I wanted to use some of that up and I thought a purple ghost would be cool and fun and just something a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and cover my base with the purple wool roving. Using my, I have a three or you know, three or four needle tool, and then I have a seven needle tool that's bigger that I can cover a lot faster, but doesn't, you know, it's not as precise. So I'm getting my shape. I want to have him kind of have a wispy tail and just get everything covered. I want to have that tail kind of bent up, so I was having some problems with that. And I did some indentions for the eyes. And then I wanted to use some green wool for his eyes. So I just took a little bit of my green wool roving, took my needle tool that has two needles on it, and just attached those, those eyes to him. Filled in that area with that green wool roving. Just go over it really good until I'm happy with it. And I'm going to go ahead and touch up a few areas that seemed a little bit looser than I wanted. And now we can take a look at the finished purple needle felt ghost. So I'll bring this guy in. I had him back all the way so I could get him in the frame. But there's a close up of him. All right. So he doesn't really stand on his own. So I had to, you know, kind of prop him up. And he's, he's very just kind of. I want to say flat, but you know, he's he, he doesn't have a lot of dimension to him. Just because I want him to have this kind of generic ghost shape that I like. But I do like his little wisps of purple from the wool that comes off of there. I think that's a neat look for the ghost. I think this would be a lot of fun, you know, to put it on a on a chair or couch. Or even maybe add a string to it and kind of have it hanging in front of a window or something. It's, you know, it's got a nice silhouette to it. It is a little bit firm there. It holds the shape really well. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And remember, never stop creating. Bye. If you'd like a piece of your Halloween artwork featured in my final 31 Days of Halloween video, please hashtag Andrews 31 Days of Halloween 2019 on Instagram or email it to me at andrewschmettclaycreations at gmail.com. I will put this information down in the description box below so you don't have to copy it off of the screen. Uh, deadline for submissions is October 26th and one submission per artist.